According to its occupational definition, a steam fitter, also known as a pipe fitter, is one who installs, inspects, maintains, and repairs steam and heating systems and such equipment as boilers, radiators, oil burners, pumps, traps, valves, and laundry and kitchen equipment, repairs and replaces pipe and pipe coverings, welds and threads pipe, performs shop work such as disassembling valves and equipment, replacing worn parts, and reassembling and testing equipment, and cleans, maintains, and repairs tools and equipment. These very tasks all have one element in common. They all carry a danger of asbestos exposure. In industry, as well as construction, asbestos insulation was likely to be used wherever heat or flame was a concern. In addition to fireproofing, certain types of asbestos is particularly resistant to chemical corrosion and acid, and was therefore used extensively in chemical plants and laboratories. Asbestos products. The forms of asbestos most likely to be encountered by steam and pipe fitters depend largely on the nature and location of that particular job. Seagoing vessels had asbestos insulation throughout the hull on every deck, especially in the engine room. Depending on the country of registry, a ship may still contain substantial amounts of friable or crumbling asbestos, particularly in the engine room. When it came to lagging or heat shielding, steam pipes in many ships and commercial and residential buildings were frequently sprayed with a commercial product manufactured by the W.R. Grace Corporation. This product, known as Monocode, was touted by the Grace Company as being asbestos-free, but in reality contained up to 12% asbestos. W.R. Grace was a manufacturer of another product commonly used in all types of construction products, was marketed as Zonalite. Again, the Grace Corporation assured consumers that the product was asbestos-free. In fact, the substance used in Zonalite, a type of clay known as vermiculite, was invariably contaminated with asbestos fibers. This product was manufactured and continued to be used in construction through the early 1990s. Yet another product that steam and pipe fitters are likely to come in contact with is asbestos cement. This is paneling made from thin sheets of cement that has been reinforced with asbestos in amounts ranging from 5 to 10 percent. Corporate conspiracy. Records dating back as far as 1895 clearly show that medical science had made the connection between asbestos and respiratory disease. This fact was acknowledged by the British government by 1931 when strict regulations regarding asbestos were put in place for industries in the UK. Knowledge of the health dangers of asbestos had been firmly established in the US by the late 1930s. Ironically, much of this knowledge was based on studies financed by the asbestos industry itself. In 1977, documents came to light conclusively proving that the two largest asbestos producers of the time, Ray Bestus and Johns Manville, had engaged in a conspiracy to keep this information away from the public. Likewise, W.R. Grace Incorporated continues to deny that its products were harmful. In 2005, a federal grand jury indicted seven high-level corporate officers of the company seeking a fine in the amount of $280 million. In addition, the corporate officers named in the indictment were facing prison sentences of up to 70 years, the first time any corporate officer had faced a criminal penalty in such a legal action. Recently, however, the Environmental Protection Agency was seeking panelists for a board that would draft a risk assessment for asbestos exposure that state and federal authorities could use in order to define such risks. The potential nominees for this panel included 12 scientists and others who have in the past represented the interests of W.R. Grace Incorporated, as well as a number of defense contractors. Needless to say, the potential for conflict of interest is great. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by asbestos.net, a leading resource on all aspects of asbestos and mesothelioma. Our priority is to inform victims about the devastating effects of asbestos exposure, mesothelioma, asbestos cancer, asbestosis, and other asbestos-related diseases and to advise them with a wealth of information. Individuals whose lives have been touched by mesothelioma have numerous questions and concerns. Their caregivers and family members also need accurate, reliable information. 
If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or asbestos cancer and need more information, we invite you to visit and explore the thousands of pages of oncologist-reviewed material on asbestos.net, to call our convenient toll-free number shown below and speak with a mesothelioma specialist, or to use the simple contact form found at asbestos.net to request a free copy of our informative books, custom inserts, and DVD. Asbestos.net, information and help for patients and families.